to be real careful here on these uh, edges because the buffer's force is concentrated on these. If I press too hard or hold too long, it will burn right through everything down to the bare wood. So you got to vary the pressure and really lighten it up now. thing is the back and then the fretboard will be all done except for the hand waxing and putting it back together. Okay what I've done here is since the entire fretboard is covered with a, a coating of varnish I've cleaned the tops of the frets off with number 1000 grit paper and that prepares that this whole area for uh, buffing with both coarse and fine getting it mirror shine. This is a characteristic of Rickenbacker uh, guitars, is the, uh, as people say, lacquered fretboard, even though it's, uh, it's actually varnish. Uh, and it, it takes some getting used to for some people to play, but anybody who's played a maple neck fender, it's a pretty similar feel to it. Okay, first the course, now the, and then the uh, fine buff. All the black gunk here that's uh, because we're polishing fret metal rare uh, bare metal as well as varnish so it loads up with this black stuff now we'll do the fine <laughs> See how it shines now. And I'll come back with a, a diaper, a rag, and I'll wipe all the extra compound off. You see all the compound that got deposited here. Uh, that's normal. Uh, and then uh, it's going to get some final detailing. And the final detailing will involve uh, I'm going to pick up on some areas that need a little more sanding, perhaps with a plexiglass block, and a couple of wavy areas that might need a little going over with some sandpaper. And then we'll come back and we'll buff it one more time. But for all our purposes in demonstrating buffing, uh, this is a completed instrument. And the next thing we're going to do is start putting it back together. <laughs> 